All right, what up, though, Pistons fans? Um, it's been a hell of a night. <laughs> it's been a hell of a night. It's been a hell of a day already. Real quick, before you watch this video, I would like to refer you back to a couple of videos ago where I stated last week that the Pistons, if we won the number one draft pick, we would trade back to number two. And I gave you my initial thoughts before the draft lottery on that. Um, then all of yesterday's festivities, all uh, the videos I well the live stream I had yesterday, go make sure you go check that out because oh my god, the, it 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 was funny watching all the other YouTubers and Detroit creators just stressing while watching the live streams. It was I, I loved it. It was funny. Yeah, uh, just go go watch the live stream. Uh, leave a comment, share, subscribe, all that, and then um the video i made on my phone after we won the draft lottery so yeah the pistons we won the draft lottery last night oh man it's such a great feeling it really was to be honest ah oh my god first of all i know everybody got the notification on their phone talking about the pistons are looking to trade back I told y'all because for me listen number one like i said number one i always trusted what troy weaver is thinking look troy weaver gave us two rookies all rookie first team sadiq bay all rookie second team um isaiah stewart killian he's a long-term project he's going to be one of the best pro prospects out of this he's going to be the best one of the best players out of this draft but you know he's a long-term deal you know what i'm saying So with my thinking on that, and I, I'm pretty sure we have three other picks and they're all in the second round. The no, We have the number one draft pick and then we have three other picks in the second round. Here is my thinking on all of this. Like I said, Troy Weaver, I trust and believe in everything he does. You know what I'm saying? Troy Weaver is gonna get the job done. He's already proving himself. In one year, the spotlight is on us now. In one in one year, Troy Weaver completely flipped what what uh, Stan Van Gundy tried to ruin for us. He ruined us. Troy Weaver has put so much stock back into the city, and I very much appreciate it. Dwayne Casey, you did an excellent job. My thing right now is the simple fact that personally, it's about fit, and the person in the draft that fits the Pistons the most is Evan Mobley. So. With us owning the number one pick, I don't, I, in, in the, in the one video where I said we were going to trade back if we won the number one pick, I mentioned Jalen Green. Jalen Green's not a, he's not, he's not a question for us anymore. I mean, he's, he's not, he's not in those plans anymore. Cade Cunningham is a point guard first. He's a six foot eight point guard. We would be changing his position to have him start at the two, and he would be an interchangeable guard piece with Killian Hayes. It is a very similar mindset as to what we have with Evan Mobley. However, Evan Mobley, his defense versus Cade's defense, Evan Mobley is, ma is mainly a defensive player to where our team is automatically by default going to beat other like if defense versus defense the pistons defense is winning evan mobley is that guy he he's a great he's he's that he's that man then offensively he has some things he has to work on but his game is there it's all there for him to be a dangerous offensive player as well top player quality evan mobley i believe in evan mobley like he is the best fit for us he really is. Cade Cunningham, you know what I'm saying? Best player. Uh, I agree. If we pick Cade, I, of course I'm gonna be happy because here, here are some reasons as to why Cade Cunningham for the Pistons would be great. One, that puts us in a national spotlight. You know, automatically the Pistons or Pistons get media coverage any day of the week. You know what I'm saying? What through summer camp, summer training, preseason, uh, regular season, postseason, Pistons are getting media coverage because of Cade Cunningham. Spotlight, star status, Cade Cunningham. Understandable. You know what I'm saying? He's putting butts in seats. You know, 
Cade Cunningham is getting people to buy tickets to come watch him play at Little Caesars Arena. Cade Cunningham is going to have the number one jersey being sold. If the Pistons take Cade Cunningham, he will have the number one jersey being sold. Merchandise, uh, promo, promotion, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Cade Cunningham is bringing the cameras with him. That's that. I don't know. You know, bringing the cameras with him, it, it sounds a little much. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, yeah, we want more of a national spotlight. But at the same time, I want to make sure I'm getting a player who has the best work ethic. I want to make sure I'm getting a player who really has that dog in him. Now, granted, Jalen Suggs has that dog in him. However, I don't want him. <laughs> I don't want him. Evan Mobley, he got that dog in him. But here's, you know what I'm saying? It, it just comes down to those two people. It comes down to Evan Mobley, and it comes down to um, to Kate Cunningham. Those are the two people Troy Weaver will be looking at in this draft. K said he's only going to visit the Pistons. He said he's only going to visit the Pistons. That's another thing that scares me. If we if we if we trade back to number two and Cade Cunningham sees that and he goes to Houston, he's like, okay, all right, Pistons wanted wanted to trade me away. All right, that's fine. <laughs> and he completely obliterates. Hey, I don't know. It, it, it's so many, it's just so many unknowns in this situation, man. Yeah, everybody says the anybody who has the number one pick should pick Cade Cunningham because Cade Cunningham is automatic box office. I understand. I understand. But like I said, whatever Troy Weaver says he's going to do, I'm going to trust in it because he has not steered us in a wrong direction so far. It's only, it's only the first year of man in the ship. And he has completely flipped his franchise upside down. Completely. You know what I'm saying? And think about everything that we could possibly get with the number two pick. You know what I'm saying? If we were to trade back to, with Houston and get that number two pick, it would be crazy, man. I believe we own our own fate and it feels good. You know, for the Pistons to win the NBA draft lottery, you don't know how it feels for us, you don't know how it feels for Pistons fans. It, it, it's, su it's such a beautiful feeling, man. We're on top of the world. For, with just one, with just 15 minutes of of lot of the lottery balls falling, you know what I'm saying? It's just it, it completely flipped the public's eyes on the Pistons because. I hate how the media is showing, oh my God, they have such great pieces over there. It's not It's not like Cade Cunningham's going to gonna go to a team with absolutely nothing. They have Sadiq Bey over there. They have Isaiah Stewart. They have Jeremy Grant. Man, shut up. All y'all kill me. Don't nobody want to talk about it. None of y'all was talking about what great pieces the Pistons have before all of this. I had to hear it from my friends whenever I would talk about the great pieces we have in Detroit. They said, man, y'all ain't like got great pieces. Y'all have a terrible team. So, of course, somebody has to score. No, we have a great team. We have great prospects. We are up and coming. It's we're, This is about to be a real mean turnaround, a real mean rebuild. From a committed rebuild to playoffs, we're right back in it, man. Y'all can't get rid of the Pistons because the Pistons is one of the greatest franchises of all time. I say top five. Some people call me crazy, but I don't care because it's the Pistons. The Detroit Pistons is going back to prominence and I don't care what none of y'all tell me. So best believe, I will believe, trust in, have faith in whatever Troy Weaver does for us in this NBA draft. Whether we get Cade Cunningham or we get Evan Mobley, I don't care. They say Jalen Green is more uh, is the best compliment to Killian, but even Jalen Green, I'm not all the way sold on my man. Even though he is the best compliment to Killian Hayes out of this draft, because yeah, he 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 played he played he played good with the you know what I'm saying with the grown folks with the, with the men you know what I'm saying he, he played cool in the G League. It's just will that last? I don't know. 
it's very tough but the the clear the clear two for me is Cade Cunningham and Evan Mobley if we trade if we trade down we're getting a couple of good pieces along with the number two pick for the for whoever wants Cade Cunningham to come up we're getting a lot of good pieces but best believe we are getting Evan Mobley that's if we trade down I do not see us getting Jalen Green. And if we get Jalen Green, then Troy Weaver has seen something in Jalen to believe this isn't just hype. This is real. And that's the same for if Cade Cunningham, we stay at number one and pick Cade. He's the real deal. I see something in him to where we can really take this and run with it. You know what I'm saying? Because he could potentially replace Killian. Potentially. It's just really tough. It re it's it's a really tough situation. It's the best situation though. At the same time, because we have all of the pieces, we have all of the cards. We've got both big jokers, and we got the two of diamonds and the two of spades. We're in there. We just can't mess that. We just can't mess up this hand. We really can't mess up this hand. Like I said, I believe in Troy Weaver. I believe in what he has in store for us. <sighs> Picking Cade at number one. That's a real ver that's a real versatile team, man. But if we do end up picking Cade Cunningham at number one, we are going to have to figure out. We need to find a we need to find a big man that can take we we need to find a big man to replace Mason Plumley because that that it's no good. We we gotta replace Mason. Mason, yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? He's a cool little mentor piece or whatever, but I'm, I'm not rocking with Mason. I really believe we need to find that piece to put us over the edge. Mason Plumley, you're a great player. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just not for us. You're just not for us. You know what I'm saying? Mason Plumley is going, he, he can be a good rotational piece on a championship worthy team. I know Mason Plumley can. I just don't need him in Detroit sucking up minutes from Isaiah Stewart, bro. I just really don't. And I need another big man to pair him with so that way we can really go at it with people. But yeah, Cade come him at number one, man. If Troy, hey, if Troy sees it in him, I'm cool. Honestly, I am. Last thing I want to say on this video before I go. Look at me, Troy Weaver. Look at me. Look at me, Troy. Don't you dare trade this pick for Ben Simmons. Don't you dare. Now, granted, I already have a friend. Shout out to my boy, Nigel, and his brother, Patron. They do not believe they would trade Ben Simmons for Kate Cunningham. I'm cool with that. I don't care. As long as we don't do it. Ah. <laughs> uh. I know I don't want Ben Simmons. I don't want him anywhere near my team. S keep him away from my team. Keep Ben Simmons away from my team. For the love of God, please keep him away. I don't want him. Whereas other star other teams may want to trade their star for him. I don't know. It's going to be a really exciting time. But to be honest, for me, I feel like it's kind of I feel like the trade talk is to an extent smoke and mirrors. You know what I'm saying? To an extent, it's Troy Weaver doing his job. He's not hes not supposed to just sit there and say, oh, we're definitely taking Cade Cunningham with the number one pick. He's not supposed to say that. He's supposed to comb through every option that he has, and he's supposed to make sure he makes the most sound decision for the future of this franchise. It is extremely irresponsible if you sit there and you pick Cade Cunningham just because he's the best player. No, you pick Kate Cunningham because you have made sure that the other options were not better than this option for your team because yes he may be the best player but the best player does not mean you take the best player it does not look at Cleveland does not mean that at all man it's you know no 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 look at Philadelphia when they got Markel Fultz or they got Jaleel Okafor who, with, who you think is the best player? No. No. You get the best suited person to what you are trying to do for your team. 
So that's why that's why I'm that's why I'm holding my breath until July 29th for the NBA draft. I will do another live stream. I'm going to do another live stream for the NBA draft. It's going to be a short live stream, but it might start at 15 minutes before. I don't know, but it's going to be it's going to be a long it's this is going to be the longest month of Pistons fans' lives, man. I swear, it's going to be the longest month of our lives. There's going to be so much speculation. There's going to be so many rumors. Troy Weaver's doing what he's supposed to do. Trust in him. Y'all, please. And if he does trade that pick away, don't be bashing this man. He's doing his job. He is doing it to the utmost extent that he possibly can. Trust in Troy. You know what I'm saying? It, it's... <laughs> we already have a good team. With, hey, with or without this pick, we have a good team that's going to develop into something someday. So whatever we do is whatever we do. Just don't get Jalen Sucks, please. <laughs> if we get Jalen Green, he saw something in Jalen Green. Evan Mobley, he's the best. He's the clear, he's the clear best fit as of right now. Cade Cunningham, he's the best player. So Troy is gonna sort through these three options and he's gonna make the most sound decision. I have to keep repeating this because people don't listen and people go crazy. But whatever you think, man, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Like if you like the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to grow the grow grow the subscribers up. I mean, we're trying to get lit up here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get ready to go to work. You know, best believe I'm repping the pit. I mean, I'm re I'm repping Detroit today. I'm repping all Detroit today, man. Best believe that. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace out.